Hello and welcome back to Yoga with Lina. Today I have another sequence for you for the back, especially for the upper back. So let's jump into some comfy clothes and let's get started right away. We are starting today in extended child pose. Your knees are mid wide apart, your upper body is lifting back towards your heels. And then we walk up front with our hands. Ground your forehead on the mat. And just take a moment for yourself and we are starting this yoga practice now. Feel this the first stretch in your upper body and in your arms. Take a few deep breaths here, inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. One last time. Slowly move your hands towards you and come up into tabletop position. Your knees are in one line with your hips and your hands are, your wrists are under your shoulders. Your, finger by, uh, your fingers are spread wide open <laughs> to feel the ground here and then we are starting with cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. And exhale, round through. Inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, round through. A few more times. Inhale and exhale round through. One last time, inhale, drop the belly and exhale, round through and let's come back into tabletop. From here, we are going into thread the needle, so make sure that your feet are a little bit more than hip wide right apart. And you can bring your left hand a bit more up front that it's not in the way for the twist. <laughs> so inhale, open your chest, lift your right arm up into this air and exhale, round through. Inhale, open. And exhale, round through. Inhale, one more time. Lift your arm, open your chest. And exhale, round through and stay here. Bring your forehead, your, excuse me, bring your head to the floor and your left arm 
if it's comfortable for you up front close your eyes for a second here find relaxation In case your left hand was up front, move your hand back closer towards your face and then push yourself up. Bring your right hand one more time up into the air and then back to neutral. Very nice. Let's continue with the other side right, right away. Bring your left hand up into the air, gaze up and exhale, round through, twist here, inhale, lift your left arm up and exhale, thread the needle, inhale, open up. And exhale, thread through. Bring your head to the ground. And if you like to walk your front arm, your right arm up front. Also close your eyes for a second here. Enjoy this very gentle twist. Perfect. Open your eyes, bring your right hand closer towards your face and then open up again, gaze up and come back to neutral. From here for a second, bring your toes together and let's go back into child's pose. Basically how we started the session. <laughs> But I hope that you feel already a bit different. Okay, from here let's come back up into tabletop and we are moving into downward facing dog. Just take your way to go up here, bend your knees and up into downward facing dog. Walk the dog here. Your fingers are pressing actively in the ground. Your back is nice and long. And just do this little walks. You can move your head from one side to another. Pedal it out here. Great. From here, let's move forward into a plank, 
bring your knees to the ground and then slowly let's come up into on our bellies from here we are coming into a small cobra your elbows are next to your body your forehead is on the mat and then you bring your shoulder blades back and you lift and open your chest gaze slightly up front exhale back to ground one more time inhale lift your forehead and exhale back to ground one last time and back to ground and this time walk with your hands up front that your elbows are under your shoulders for sphinx pose and lift your chest open up here gaze slightly up front towards your fingertips Great, let's come back to the ground. Make a pillow out of your hands. Put your forehead on your hands. And then shake your hips from one side to another. Find relaxation here. And then bring your right hand up front and we are rolling over. We are coming on our back. Or take the way which is most comfortable for you. When we are on our back, we are coming first relaxing here <laughs> bring your knees together resting pose for a second And from here, walk your heels a bit closer towards you that you can almost reach them with your fingertips. And then we are coming into a, a shoulder bridge, dynamic shoulder bridge. Lift up your hips from the ground, bring it up and then back down to the ground. Two more times like this dynamic. And then the last time come up and we gonna stay here
slowly come back to ground. Bring one knee after another towards you. You can rock from side to side if it feels right for you. And then bring the feet back to the mat. Your hips are a little bit more to the right. And then for a last twist, bring your hands out to the sides, your feet up in the air, your knees out together. And then on the height of your belly button, let's move our knees towards the left side. You can bring your right arm also on the left hand and then roll over, open up. And try this last twist. Activate your core a little bit and let's bring the feet up back to neutral. Feet to the ground, hips first into neutral. And then we move over to the other side. Bring your hips a bit more to the left. Knees together. Knees fall towards the right. And then open up here. Activate your core, bring your knees back to neutral and then resting here and find your way how you would like to end this yoga session, either your knees together in a resting pose or you decide you Wanna extend your legs and have a small shavasana. Close your eyes in either case. One last big inhale here. And exhale through the mouth. Enjoy these relaxing moments. Thank you very much that you were a part of today's session.